This is the last worthless evening that you'll have to spend. These are nights on TV. Talk this guy's shit out. He doesn't really know what the band. He doesn't know what the band. And yeah, I thought yeah. these guys were coming. I thought it was an instrumental outfit. Dude. Get the guy. Get the guy in the glass. The guy with the hat and the glasses. We'll talk to him. We gotta get the okay. singer out of here though. Okay. He's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just freaking the the crew uh, out. Security, Brett. Is, is anybody else? No, what? No, no, come on, man. Whatever this is. Yeah, the drummer. The drummer wasn't playing fast. Shut the fuck up, me. Fuck out. Boy, fuck out. All right, welcome to Nights, everyone. We're here with a legend of comedy, uh, the funniest man in America, Mr. James Gregory. James, thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you for being so generous with your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, as far as being a legend, you know why it's a legend? Oh, uh, to explain. Because I've been here a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> See, yeah. eventually, they will call you a legend. I hope so. <laughs> if I, I mean, we can only be so lucky here. Um, Congratulations on your sold out show tonight. Well, thank you. Um, that's exciting. You know, you're touring across the, the United States. You're kind of perpetually doing that. Um, you know, you're on the road a lot. Uh, what's, what are some of your favorite things about, about traveling across the states? Well, you know, it's good to, uh, I've been doing this for about 40 years now. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have that, the experiences around the country you know, because you would see places like that that you would not see if you were not in the traveling business. Mm -hmm. Now, the traveling itself can be fatiguing. Oh, I, I can imagine. You know, but it's all worth it because once you hit the stage and the audience is in front of you, that is the best part of the job. Yep, abso you know? absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. get it, get the energy back from the crowd. Um, well, you've got some coffee here. Are there any other ways that you deal with the fatigue of being on the road? Is there are there any are there any secrets? Well, you know, it's just see? fatigue. It's just work. It's called work. Right. Matter of fact, just recently, uh, I was being interviewed by someone on a radio station. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said it's like uh, any other occupation. See, I know several people that truly love their jobs, mm -hmm. but they don't love the traffic trying to get there. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. So just because you're in show business and just because you're comedy, it's not fun 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. you know? Are you uh, are you on the road by yourself a lot? Obviously, you said you always have a, you take an opener. I've always as was traveling. On the road, yes. Yeah, you, you always know? have some on the road with you. Right, yes. Um, I was listening to you on the, the Rick and Bubba show and you were talking about uh, how much you love car washes. Have you hit any cool car washes? Since you've been on the car washes, yeah. <laughs> well, I love hanging out at car washes. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were they were they were talking to you in the interview about co during COVID, and you were saying how you like to go to the car wash once a week in, the, in yeah, that yeah. interview. And and well, I well, I remember that conversation. Uh -huh. 
I have I have three automobiles, you know. And nice one out there we saw. But, but anyway, so I keep them clean. So when the COVID thing started, COVID nineteen, and all the businesses shut down, mm -hmm. okay, I couldn't get my car washed. They shut mm -hmm. down the car wash, but across the street was a liquor store, and it was open. Mm. Yeah, I said, I said, I Isn't that something? I said, what's the, what's the difference, you know? Right. Uh, and I made the joke about it. I said, well, I guess if they started selling <laughs> liquor at the car wash, they'd let them open up. <laughs> That's a different kind of party. That's right. That's a different kind of party. Um, well, you know, you've been doing this, like you said, 40 years. Yeah, about, four, about 42 years. 42 years. Right. You, you started in, in Atlanta, right? Or in, you know, at the punchline, at the punch, in Atlanta, Georgia. And you yes. were were you a door were you a door person or were you bringing people up? Were you doing a little bit of everything? Well, you know, uh, if I will give you some information that you may or may not know. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Suppose that right now you are not interviewing James Gregory, and you were interviewing Jerry Seinfeld, or maybe Jay Leno. Mm or let's say it was Eddie Murphy, or let's say it was Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those people will tell you they started on amateur night being the opening act. Uh, right. Everybody starts the same way. Sure. It's a very unique business. It's not like you could go to college and get a degree mm -hmm. and say, okay, I'm a comedian, will you pay me? Yeah, yeah, you got to put in the time. Right. So we all start uh, just on stage working for free. Sure. Right. Yep. It's called amateur night, or open mic night, and then they will hire you to be the MC, where you just make announcements and, and you use other comedians. Yeah. Right. Sure. And I started that way, and the names I just mentioned, they started the same way. Right. Right. You know? Well, you mentioned a lot of big names there, and one of the names that you mentioned, I mean, the Oscars are coming up. Did you see what happened with the, the Chris Rock and the Will Smith incident at the Oscars last year? Yeah, I saw that uh, on a little clip on the news. I don't watch award shows anymore. I gave those up years ago. You can't blame me on that one. Right. On that. What do you think about that, the, the, uh, the, the slap? Do you think it was a... Uh, you know, is it, have, you, have you ever had any experiences with hecklers like that? And how did you no, take them down? No, no. No, it's a peaceful crowd. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you may or may not know this, but prior to 1982, yeah. there was no such thing as comedy clubs or stand-up comedy venues anywhere in the heartland of the Southeast. Sure. They did not exist. So the first one in the mainland, I call it the mainland, <laughs> uh, because I consider California to be another country. Sure. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, absolutely. Uh, it opened in 1982. And that's where all of us would hang out, not to be part of the show, but to watch the show. Sure, create that community. And then I had friends who thought I was funny. Mm -hmm. And they kept so daring. Get up, you gotta get up again. They kept daring me to go. And, and that's, that's how I got my foot in the water. Sure. You know? Sure. Well, that I mean, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If that punchline, if that comedy club had not opened, had not opened, I would still be in the sales business. That's what you're doing before you're a yeah. salesperson, right? Yeah. Right. Um, I might be in jail, but uh oh, I always I always sold stuff that people didn't need. Oh, <laughs> like what? Give us. I make the joke about uh, that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It, it was. Well, it was hard, high-pressure sales. Oh, I bet. like, the, like Overpriced vacuum cleaners. Hoovers. Overpriced. Yeah. No, not Hoovers. Brand names I've never heard of, you know. But, ah. <laughs> you know and, and that was way before the internet. A lot of people don't know what encyclopedias. Remember, you used to sell a whole set of encyclopedias. Encyclopedias. Encyclopedia? Sales. Encyclopedias, yeah. Huh. So That sounds cool. We sold everything, you know. If you uh, if you were gonna be, if you were gonna produce a movie about your life, who would you who would play James Gregory in the in the James Gregory story? Nobody's ever asked that question. I'd have to really think about that. I don't know, but uh, first of all, I don't think anybody's going to do a movie about my life. You know, you might be surprised. <laughs> 
but uh, I don't know. It has to be a cool guy. Do I? It has to be a, co- a cool. Yeah, a Dallas guy, I would hope. Cool, calm customer. Right, yeah. I don't Nicholson. think they would hire somebody that's real tall and thin. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, well, you know, we could, we, I could see a Nichols, a young Nicholson, uh-huh. kind of do the retrofit, uh-huh. how they do, and have uh-huh. him up there, sort of, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, what would the movie be called? What could the movie be called? We've got the funniest man in America. Uh-huh. The who maybe we could enter maybe it would enter on focused on the uh the writer that wrote the story calling you the funniest man in america we set in on a newspaper he's at his desk right. typing out after seeing your shows this right. the funniest man in america his name was billy joe cooley well rest, rest see that peace. funniest man in america thing once again i didn't that all came about by have a stance. So, uh, Billy Joe Cooley was a newspaper columnist, and he wrote in this section called Lifestyle Section, mm. once Hill Times. He said that I have never heard of this gentleman, but he's got to be the funniest man in America. Wow! And that and that's how it that's how it so came what to happened me. was uh, I remember this is back when there was no such thing as the internet and all like that. So you would have a, what we call it, you know, a publicity type thing. You'd take copies of articles and send that to people. PR, yeah. PR stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Uh, so I just made a bunch of copies and I would highlight that and forward that to the place I was going. Thing. Mm-hmm. And other comedians was making fun of me, and they should have. I mean, who am like, I? No one's ever heard of me. First man in America, you know? sure. But it just—I said, you know, it's tough. Hey, maybe I got something here. There you maybe go. Let me just try that. You know. And it's it's carried. so the funniest man in America. It's not because I won on. a contest or anything. You know. Yeah. It was so. It wasn't. Right. Now once you didn't, you once didn't it happened pay, though, you didn't pay bills. I did the best I could to make sure it was successful. Keep it, keep, keep, to keep it going. Have you heard I am the fun Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that much. Um, okay. Um, have you heard about the, uh, you talk about your, uh, your your double wide being repossessed in some of your, in some of your specials, in some of your, <laughs> in some of your material. Uh, recently Ford has announced a plan where AI, they would let AI replace, they would, if, if, what am I trying to say? Uh, they would let AI, if you don't pay your car payments, they would let AI repossess your car. So what do you think about, how do, what do you think about that even? Well, if, you, if you're more than two months behind, yeah, keep your car in somebody else's house. <laughs> <laughs> Put a cover on it or something, <laughs> right? right yeah. Get a, get a new paint job. <laughs> <laughs> what about these balloons, Chinese spy baboons? What? The Chinese, have you heard about the Chinese spy I baboons? I heard a little bit about it. Some people think it might be a UFO, that kind of stuff. I don't know. Mm. Have you ever had any experiences with any UFOs or anything like that? Been out on the I was those people. Uh, I do not believe in UFOs. Oh. Now, here's what I believe. I believe it's very possible that there's life on other planets. That's possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I do not believe that UFOs exist. Mm. Now, if you believe in UFOs, see, most people, especially in recent decades, don't think for themselves. Mm. They really don't. They kind of follow the herd mentality. I right. so think about this. If you believe in UFOs, here's what you believe. You believe that we have been tracking them since 1947. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So for the past 75 years, the super intelligent aliens, okay, with a supposedly a much a farther intellect capability than us, have the ability to travel from their planet millions of miles down the earth, okay, hang out for a few hours or a few days, and after all those sightings, supposedly, no one's ever seen them, spoken to them. Those people in the UFO, they never show up at the Waffle House, you know. With all this technology that we have, okay, we've been tracking them for 75 years and they're still, you know what I mean? It's like, why do you believe it? Why do you believe it? I've never seen one. Huh? I've never seen one. All right. The people who, nobody has. I don't think. Not outside of E.T. or Avatar, right. Shape of Water. So, I do believe that it's very possible there is life form on other planets. I do not believe in UFOs. They're not coming here is what you're saying. They're just Well, they may someday. I've just said they haven't yet. Haven't yet. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's a I think they may show up someday and when they show up, uh, I think the first thing they'll do is go to Golden Corral. We got to eat. It's hungry aliens. That's right, yeah. It's been, who knows what kind of stuff they've been eating? Rocks and right. dust all this time. They get here and see that we got mashed potatoes and gravy. That's or right. some sweet potato cobbler. Oh, that's right. That's um, well, that might be a breaking... We might have just broke that. That might be a Knights on TV breaking story. James Gregory does not believe in UFO. I mean, that could be a breaking... That could be a breaking... Well, don't that could be an exclusive. That could be an exclusive. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh yeah, I have a question. I'll show you a picture of my boy here. It's my boy John. Ah. Uh huh. And he eats so many sweets and will not kill the. He's not. He just will not put the soda down. Uh -huh. He's little Debbie's and sweets all the time. What do I do? What do I do? How do I? He's bouncing off the wall twenty four seven. What do I do? Uh, yeah. What's his age? John. What's his age? Oh, he's 12. 12? Yeah. Well, Bad little boy. Huh? Bad little boy. He's my boy, but he's a bad boy. Uh, you think mainly because of too much sugar, huh? He's going insane. Oh. He goes, drives me up the wall. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm separated from his mom, so we don't, oh. she deals with it on her own terms. You know how that is. But. Oh. Well, I don't have any, I can't give you any advice. I really can't. Is there anywhere we could hide it from? It's good creative hiding places or something. Uh, you think it's good way to trick sugar? Them. You think it's all food? It's all food. Yeah, yeah. Got Even five minutes on this. Yeah. Got five left. Yeah. Do what now? We got five minutes. I think oh. we got got about five minutes left. Okay, we'll do some. I do know about the. Have you have you have you ever performed in Chattanooga before? Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Have I performed there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have performed in Chattanooga every six months for the past 38 years. Oh, wow. This coming June will be my 39th year. Mm. Uh, I, don't do, I don't do many comedy clubs anymore, but that's one of the ones I still go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do you play there? I was at, oh, at Comedy Catch. Oh, the Comedy Catch at the Choo Choo? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Do you ever yeah. get on those golf carts around there? Take the, They take you on the golf carts around the hotel to get you around everywhere? Those are fun. I love those. Well, they, they could send a golf cart to the hotel and bring me to the venue, you know. But Sometimes. It's fun. I just take them out for fun when I'm there. Yeah. Sometimes just, they'll let you rent one, and I just take it, and I'll take it out on the <laughs> little ride sometimes, you know. Uh, okay, we can do a... Uh, this is called, it's our lightning round. Since we're getting towards the end, I'm just going to throw out some things. Um, this eat it or stick it. So you either eat it, say, I'll eat I'll take that, I'll eat that. You say, stick it, you know, whatever. Oh, you said eat it or stick it? Eat it or stick it. Eat it, like E-A-T? Yeah. 
Eat it or stick it. Eat it or stick it. I've never heard of that phrase. Yeah, it's a new, it's like our, it's just our lightning round, you know, so you basically say, take it or chuck it, you know. Uh-huh. Keep it or, uh. I know what eat it means. Uh, eat it, yeah, and stick it means, yeah, stick it. Yeah. Um, hamburger or hot dog? Huh? Hamburger or hot dog? Eat it. Well, which one between those two as well? Between what? If you have to pick between a hamburger and hot dog, which one? Would you oh pick? gosh, probably burger. Burger, good cheeseburger. Yes. Yeah. But no, no lettuce, no tomatoes. Mm, just a beef. It makes me nervous to see people put vegetables on a sandwich. Mm, yeah. I it's, love vegetables, but that's a side dish. And that's I, right. That's right. Keep it away. You want? Right. You want that here? I want my right. beef. I want my pinks. Right. I want my pinks. I want my sweet potato cobbler. As much of that as I can get, frankly. Uh, Aerosmith. What? Aerosmith. Aerosmith. I don't have an opinion about it, but I would say stick it. Stick it. <laughs> you heard it here. Oreos. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Uh-huh. I, I mean, I think if you can't, if you're saying stick it to Oreos, you got to. If your son don't steal it from me, I'll eat it. <laughs> Damn it. He's, I'll tell you, for all these, he's doing eat it. It doesn't matter what. He said, <laughs> it's not website, eat it. It's Bible, eat it. Um, how about Knights on Access 21? Eat it or stick it? What? Knights on Access 21, we're, we're, we're doing right Knights now. Knights on. Eat it oh, or stick it? Oh, that's eat it. That's eat it. Oh, absolutely. That's what yeah. we love to hear. TikTok. You know, I'm so ignorant about that kind of stuff. But I would say stick it. Stick it, yeah. yeah. We got to get one for our show. We're gonna, you know, it's a promotional, it's a rat race yeah. with this stuff. I, don't, I wish don't you would either. ask me about Twitter. Oh, let's go Twitter then. Stick it. <laughs> uh, well, since we're on uh, websites, OnlyFans. OnlyFans? Yeah. Oh, eat it. <laughs> Niece's Country Sausage. Extra sage. Oh, eat it. Ouija boards. Ouija board. Ouija boards. Stick it. I'll tell you that much. Um, what's your body count? Uh, what? Your body count. My body count? Mm-hmm. Have I killed anybody? <gasps> Is that what you're asking? Maybe about? killed them with kindness. <laughs> I may not understand the question. It's a euphemism. One minute. One minute left. One minute. Um, yeah, I don't know. How, how will we close here? Um, I feel like, have you had a good time? Have we had a good time chatting? Oh, yes. Yes. Had a, enjoyed I'm one of those people. I've been so blessed that I have fun and enjoy being alive and above ground. If I'm breathing, I'm a happy guy. If I'm breathing, eat it. Exactly. That's right. All right. Well, thank you for thank yeah, you for your thank time. You. Uh, good luck with your show. You know, we wish we could stick around. It's sold out tonight. We did not get tickets in time. So, but we appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate your time, and uh, and uh, we wish you good luck on the rest of your tour. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you hope we'll be together. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you. You think that went all right? Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, I think so. Sure.